Rewind to last year and in a couple of the headlines, people are reported dead after buildings collapsed. Besides loss of life, collapse of buildings in the country has led to loss of millions of shillings in property. But those sad news will be a thing of the past according to Institute of Quantity Surveyors if the proposed new laws come into effect by the end of the year. It has reached a time when we need to separate. We are now splitting CAR 525 into two. One will be, the, 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 the CAPs will have to be renamed. We shall have a Corn Surveyors Act. I don't know what number they will give it. We shall also have an Actex Act. And at the same time, we are also taking this opportunity to have a Landscape Actex Act, because right now, Landscape Actex are not governed by an act of parliament. We also have, we shall also have another one, which will govern the project managers, especially in the construction industry. Right now we have construction managers, but they are not governed by an act of parliament. The maintenance policy is uh, going to benefit us in several ways. One, instead of continuing to build and we don't maintain, meaning there's going to be a lot of dilapidation and wastage of the national, uh, of the buildings. What we do. The new laws to be implemented as well as harmonized include the National Council Authority Act that will replace the City Council on mandate of authorizing construction of buildings. But the National Construction Authority Act empowers that authority to enter into any construction site and ensure that there is safety, not only for the workers or the users or the construct contractors, but they ensure that safety, both from design and the construction, is, uh, is enforced. So there is no chance of co collapsing. This is an equivalent of what is in the United States of America called OSHA. The construction professionals have cited political interference as a major challenge to implementation of the existing construction laws and told politicians to keep off the sector. So the challenge at the moment is at a political level and not technical level. And once it goes to political level, obviously the chief quantity surveyor here is not He's not licensed to carry a firearm to go and fight the people about the building. It's only the politicians who can give. It's a political solution that is now required. It's very unfortunate that those who make the law, they're the same, same people you see, preventing the law from being enforced. The Institute has also called for new construction technology that is environment friendly in order to guard the environment against destruction through extraction of raw materials for construction. Henry Miner. GBS News.